Here today in Brightling Sea on board My Alice. She's an East Coast fishing spack built by Kibbe and Sons in Brightling Sea in 1907. Here in the uh, smack dock in Brightling Sea. Here looking along the deck, she has these hatches built over the original fishing hatches, hold hatches. You see she's finished quite simply in terms of cosmetic finish. The plywood deck is painted, bulwarks, hatches, everything painted grey, all very similar. Looking over the foredeck, you can see the barrel windlass here, used for the anchor chain. Here's the holes in the barrel windlass that the spikes go into, and the chain then feeds down into the box down below deck. Uh, the bowsprit here, as you can see at the moment, is run back in. The bowsprit extends 22 feet beyond the bows, does increase our overall length considerably. Uh, looking here up the mast, this is a mast made by Noble Spars with a bird's beak construction made in 2016, finished in all grip, all wood, all grip. You can see on the side deck down here, She's got an alloy pole. There's two alloy poles actually, and they use these for poling out the uh, big balloon jibs. You can see the mainsail here, very nice condition, quite recent. And looking down into the standing rigging, see she's got dead eyes and lanyards over small little channel boards and the rest of the standing rigging is galvanised wire. So we've got main mast and top mast running backstays here. And then back along the aft deck. and the companion hatch going down below. Here down below on my Alice. In the bottom of the companion steps here. So we've got a big double here to starboard and another one to port under the side deck. Um, behind the companion steps, behind this panel is the engine. There's the Volvo engine with the uh, hydraulic pump connected to twin hydraulic out, uh, legs. So there's bronze legs, one either side. You can just see them here. There's the hydraulic motor attached to the leg. Makes it very manoeuvrable. This is a chart desk. This drops down, big, big chart desk with storage. And we've got batteries underneath here. Moving forward, in lockers here, and then into the main saloon. Feature of these smacks because they were designed for fishing, carrying fish below decks with a very small accommodation area. The headroom is quite low, so you've got good standing headroom under the companion hatch here and the main hatch in the saloon. But otherwise, you have to duck down through. You can see the underside of the deck here. So the deck was replaced during her rebuild. These are all new oak deck beams. And she's got a plywood deck, two layers of ply, glass sheathed with uh, solid timber covering boards and stanchions, oak stanchions through the covering boards. So uh, that deck, although it's not original and not laid, uh, it does give a lot of stiffness to the boat. 
Um, it's totally weather tight, very low maintenance and uh, a big advantage to her longevity. So again here looking into the saloon, you've got a settee berth on the port side and another big settee berth this side so you can actually sleep two people on this side of the saloon table. The inside is very open, you can see a lot of the structure, it's good for ventilation as well. Uh, you can see these fittings here. So these galvanised fittings were made by Colin Frake. And that's connecting the deck beam into the beam shelf and these fittings are where in way on deck. There's uh, eyes and strong points for taking parts of the rigging so it spreads the load from the eye down through into the beam shelf which then obviously spreads the load right along the hull. Um, you can see here uh, one of the new stanchions had a whole load of new stanchions about a dozen put in just recently. And moving forward, standing now under the central coach roof hatch, um, galley here, nicely fitted out, quite simple, gas stove, and there's a cooler box, 12 volt fridge unit comes out of here. Uh, this side, these are all the galvanised uh, chain plate bolts. And here's the mast, keel stepped obviously. This is a mast from Noble Spars, Bird's Beak Construction. And moving forward here into the forepeak, we've got a heads compartment here to starboard. That simple little Jabsco toilet Just discharges directly overboard. here and this also closes off the door and then into the forepeak so we've got another big double berth here chain box on the floor with the anchor chain flicked in again you can see the construction of the boat these big heavy saw note frames in pairs Here's the oak bits. These are coming right through the deck and then mounted onto the uh, stem needle. Looking back aft here, this has been, uh, this bit of timber here has been notched out so it can be used for as a ladder to get out of the fore hatch if needed. Looking back through here into this main saloon. Now here you can see, if we look down here on the floors, here's a frame. There the pair of oak frames and then in between is, uh, is cement and concrete in the bilges and that's obviously all new after the rebuild and extends to um, sort of this sort of level up here and it gives a lot of ballast uh, it also gives a lot of stiffness to the hull uh, lots of people worry about concrete in the bilges and what's underneath it um, but they very rarely you find problems of the wood underneath the concrete the, uh, the chemical makeup of the cement is actually a good preservative for the timber. And uh, so never much to worry about with that. See this deck fitting here, you can see the ply. So that's not full thickness. So I think the uh, it's probably about um, inch and a quarter maybe inch and a half thickness supply deck, two layers. Back here, and here's the companion steps. Back out on deck. <laughs>